I wonder if it's. Oh, scissoring. <laughs> Scissoring? I have for a straight best friend. Oh, what? <laughs> depending on who watches this. I mean, okay, depending on who watches this, this person might already know or might not know. Um, you Wait. can't help who you fall in love with. Wait, does that mean she's not? Have I fallen for a straight best friend? attractions that was my problem was knowing but not being able to tell um anyone or doing anything about it so like literally going home every night crying and like why am i like this how can i change but especially growing up in a small town where there's really no queer people so who you really only gonna fall in love with straight people i think when i was younger i what? was like obsessed with my best friends specifically like girl best friends where i wouldn't say i was like in love but i placed a lot of like the love feelings that i wanted on them without knowing what it was it never happened even like long long ago i i was always dating girls who were not straight if i had found out that someone i was interested in was straight i'd be like that's it i had a lot of internal i know what you guys thinking I'm not going to say it. Um, and all my friends were always queer growing up since like elementary school. So for me, I think I never gave myself that opportunity to like fall for a straight girl. Basically, a lot of my women best friends are queer or ended up coming out. I've lost a lot of friends for coming out because it's like, oh, like the Kaylee, she's a lesbian. She likes me. No, that's not how it is. My very attractive best friends that are just my friends and right. like this, you know, and that's how I, am. I had a lesbian friend. She was cool as fuck. Three, two, she forced me to smoke one. weed and shit. <laughs> Wait, what? Scissoring is a real thing. Whoa. Wow. I did mention this to my lesbian friend one time. She's like, what the fuck, Russell? Scissoring is not. No. Some people, especially, you know, maybe cis men that fetishize lesbians will see porn and they're doing things that, like, you don't do. Like, that's not something you do. Um, but it is real. And I, I mean, it's validating people that do it. But it's also like, it's not what you really think. <laughs> scissoring, right? That, like some clickbait for it. Yeah. Yeah. Scissoring. <laughs> it's not what you think. <laughs> How do you scissor? Can we get a... Can, <laughs> we need a demonstration. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, see it to believe it. We, We've all, we've, I've done it, so I believe that it is real. We need a demonstration. Everyone's word for it, whatever you say, obviously. Um, I, I don't, I don't know. I've heard that it kind of works, and then I've also heard that what? absolutely not. They just won't do it. It oh. does not happen. Oh, I see. I feel like if you enjoy it, it's real. You like kissing, it's real. Like you like scissoring? scissoring? It's real. <laughs> hey. Like, hey. Of, like, how to be intimate with someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, at least she's keeping it real. Hey, she's keeping it real. She's keeping it real. Because I've personally only been with two people being queer. Oh, she's keeping it hella real. My first experience with the first person was very much like, I didn't know what, mic check, was, mic check. Okay. You know, what to do or what to expect. It personally didn't do much for me that's why i wanted to switch because i do know it's real because i have done it but just not my thing i certainly think it's real i certainly think it's not for everybody but Maxine. i also certainly think it's a trial and error like you have to i did a one girl this, basically and keep going she says she made I'm out with a couple of girls and stuff i guess that's like normal <laughs> for girls like, to maybe make it out with other girls but <laughs> <laughs> At the same time, I was like pestering her. I was like, nah, you, angle nah, you like that, so don't that's you? That's what I mean by trial and error. And you really <laughs> have to do it multiple times until you get oh, it right. Man. It's like everything. You do stuff until you learn what you like. All right, I'm going to pause. I'm going to make a drink. All right, well, I made some Jack and Coke. Is that all right? So, I have never had it's better than a beer, right? There's less calories in a beer. Wait, what? I never had sex with a man. Ooh. There's no middle ground. We got some. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. No, right? Maybe it I'm happened. Like, kind of. <laughs> we have some gold stars. Okay. We have gold stars. Gold stars. <laughs> I've only been with one man who just so happened to be trans. 
that was enough for me to be like, this is not me. I was still seeking the parts of him that what? I think connected him to womanhood. And I really did him. Wait, so she had sex with the man that was trans, so like from, from, male, from female to male or male to... I'm so confused. Uh, disservice. Like, I was a terrible person for that. Also, the whole thing with gold stars, I just... I, I feel it's not great. Gold stars should, should not mean Ooh. anything, in my opinion, because the that term only... The or, like, what, what do you mean? I mean, right? no, agree. I wasn't saying that, like, oh, congrats to us, because there are lesbians who are like, ooh, I will only date, like, people gold stars. But I'm not saying, like, gold stars are better than not. It's just a it's term point. in my mind. That's what I was, like, referring to when I said that, not, like... I disagree with the whole thing of gold star lesbians being better than, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah everyone else. Uh, yeah, no, it happened, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, she fucking shut that shit down real school. quick. You know, you live and you learn. You tried. I tried. Tried multiple times, and I was like, something ain't clicking. Like, isn't sex supposed to be amazing? <laughs> she tried multiple times? What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, what do you God, mean? It's funny that you said that because I, I feel like the first time I had what sex was mean? the first Whoa. time I had sex with a woman. I came out when Whoa. I was 29, and I was about to be engaged to a man. And so I was at the point where... I had to be real with myself and really have to, had to be like, if I don't come out now, I'm going to be 50 with a child and married, um, coming out. I Props to you. had sex with men. Um, yep. I was straight for 29 years, um, but I, I always knew I was gay. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm here. With the wide spectrum of what people consider hey, sex fair. is, I had my fair share of experiments with men. I had thought I was asexual because I didn't have any romantic attraction to men. I felt forced to engage in certain activities to fit in with my friends, my cis friends around me. It just happens and if you're not growing up with homosexuality being normalized, you're kind of just forced into it. I um, dated men through college. I still don't consider myself like this full is, on the Kinsey scale or this whatever. Is, fully, fully what is this? I'm still attracted this is the to the title. But I Do all lesbians think the same? I was super Christian and so I just was not doing sexy things at all. Uh which is a bummer. And I the question is I, I have never had sex I've with a man. Bring on the finger, I'm moving forward. I don't know. Sounds like it's not, not all cracked up to be from over there. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like a part of me. Yeah. <laughs> like I genuinely do agree cuz like I grew up like also like, I was very like Christian household and like you know, when I was younger, I thought like you had to wait. It's a very interesting so dynamic. I realized that's not a thing. I just was like, oh, I really just don't like men. What do I do? And then I just like pushed it aside, all that stuff. Um, so, I mean, there is a part of me that's like, wow, I'm like, I really will never have sex with a man. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with having sex with men. But yeah, maybe in, a, maybe in another world, I, in another life, I will. I don't know. Not this life, I guess. <laughs> I just, I've been like a tomboy like my whole life. Okay. Like, I've always viewed like my guy friends as my guy friends and like, Okay. I didn't know that, like, in elementary, like, one of my guy best friends had a massive crush on me because I was like, oh, that's the bro, you feel me? Yeah, like, I've just always <laughs> had friends, and it's never been more than that. It's, it's a little silly that, like, I'm standing on this line and imagining the comments already of people being like, well, how do you know that you're lesbian if you didn't try it with a guy? They can shut up. And I'm yeah, like, exactly. they can shut up. How, yeah, it's like, why well, would never ask a straight person that? Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's the same thing. Like, you don't go to street people. Fair, fair, fair. Well, I mean, I always tell people to try it if they want. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I'm a bad influence. Like, Whoa. Gay men are more privileged than lesbians. Gay men are more privileged than lesbians. Oh, they're fighting now. I feel like strongly agree. being on the queer Disagreed. spectrum at all is, like, less mm. legitimate to some people than like men saying that they're on the queer spectrum at all. A lot of people refer to me or oh. other women in my life as like, it's a phase. Oh, I wonder if you'll get over it. It's a phase, but like, in my chat, I, don't I wonder how they feel about this with men. Chat. They're gay it, or whatever. It's oh, they're not, they're not in gay, here, which I think is a privilege. It is like in a way a privilege because you're already in staff. Well, there's, di there's dynamics, right? There's like men have more privilege than, than women, right? But colored men have less privilege than than some women. You know what I mean? Like there's there's layers to his intersectionalities and stuff like that. So it's very interesting to see the dynamics of lesbians, of what they think of 
of uh of gay men. I was I'm a gay man. Like, you know what I mean? Like there's tell you how many times I've been with my partner. Like a white man has more privilege than an Asian man. Partner and like oh, like gays, white men, okay. more desirable. Oh, mm. How your friend doing? You seen us holding hands? What do you mean? How's my friend doing? You know I don't do that uh, with my friends. Uh, Unrelated, but the amount of times I've like visibly kissed my partner on the lips in public, and then had somebody come up to me like, "You're really close with your sister." Oh, <laughs> and I'm like, "What's up, AT? Oh my god, um, a uh, so, yeah, I need I to know what you think like, about that all this." It was really weird oh for god. me, um, but that was so really so they me, think but. they think they have. Um, Gay men have more privilege than lesbians. Do you agree? It does happen. A Latino, lot. Hispanics, and Middle Eastern. Struggles. Um, I've known people where it's like, mm -hmm. oh, I'll, sh I'll show my, I'll tell my kids about lesbians, but not gay men. Like they they can't see that because for a lot of men, they they fetishize lesbians in a way, so it's less, it's more approachable for them. Gay men, they're like, oh no, like, you know, like the F slur, all that stuff, like very aggressive towards them. So I. What's feel the like F slur? It, it is easy. What's the F slur? To come out as a lesbian. To some people, based on society's like Just kidding. fetishizes and stuff. It's funny because it would probably be the opposite. I'm Mexican, and my dad, one time we would like go. Maybe gay to men more in media. Mm. One time he got broke back more sexualized. without mm. knowing what it was about. He was like, oh, yeah, sometimes two men fall in love. And then when I came out to him, uh -huh. it was like the most disgusting thing to him. Uh, for my culture and my experience, Whoa. it's a little bit different because a woman being with another woman and like a man not being present um, is kind of just fed into like the machismo in my culture. So that's why. Let's get this. Let's get these. Let's get these things fucking straight, right? Or curved. I don't know. Wait, the Romans, right? All the the movie Three Hundred, they all fucked each other. You know what I'm saying? They all fucked each other. All right. So like. All these gays, lesbians, gays, whatever. It's cool. Whatever, man. Like, you know, everyone everyone fucked each other, man. What, what is the argument here? What is the argument? Oh, religion? Man, they were fucking each other no matter what. Like, it doesn't matter. They were just fucking each other. Everyone, any, anything that's moving, they're just fucking. They're just fucking, right? Is that fair to say? Is that fair to say? People have different beliefs, yes. They can believe what they want to believe. Yes, freedom of speech. Yes, or, you know, whatever. But if you're trying to input that to other people's religions or trying to make people believe in other religions, then that's a different story. You can't force to change people's minds. People only can change when they want to change. Machizo. What? How you pronounce this? Machismo. A strong sense of masculine pride, exaggerated masculinity. Oh, macho, 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 macho libre. You buzz, Russ? Nah, I'm not buzz. Like Greek and Romans? Yeah, they fuck. They fuck. Uh, let's see. I would strongly. I, 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 I don't know. I just like, I hate when people argue. Pointless argument, you know? But romanticized people. If you gay, you gay. To cherry pick what part of queer culture they want cis women kissing each other at parties and oh that's so but don't cool. make it a whole that's big so fucking deal ha, 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 you know what i'm quirky. saying like in a sense people just be more gotta, people just gonna be more respectful you, know? I, you want me to be buzz a lot Shit. More to all right double take at cheers two men holding hands than you are two women holding hands because are they besties or are they a couple you know you never know i have damaged relationships with my loved ones because of my sexuality you know what they should have done they should have asked the question of like what do you think of old lesbians or what do you think of old gay homosexuals or gay men? That should be a question because, you know, there is ageism in, in, in society, right? You know what I mean? There is ageism. I just wanted to see if they, because <laughs> everyone says it's sexualized, but like, you know, like when you're older, you're not as sexy as, as you were in your, your 20s or 30s or 40s, you know what I mean? Wait, wait, what's the question? I have damaged relationships with loved ones because of my sexuality. I have damaged relationships with loved ones because of my oh damn. This, this, oh, that's another half half almost. I feel like they would say the new gays have it better better off. Ooh, kind of they this. would, right? They would. Like my parents they love would. Me, bro, like who I am. And even though they're a little hesitant, like, you know, I have 
one of my guy best friends. He's like, you sure you don't want to date Sean? Like, he's so nice for you. I'm like, we'll try Fall Guys later on. Still that disconnect. You don't? Did you download Fall Guys? A little bit better to it. But you try Fall Guys. Do about it. At the end of the day, I still love who I am, and I'm not gonna. Because they were the ones that really protested for gay rights, right? Fall Guys, yeah. Um. It's free, I think, on the Switch. Try, try to look it up. Because of it, and I am a firm believer. It's, it's a game. It's a game. It's like a fun party the game, you know, like a fun, like silly, silly game that all of us can participate. All of us can participate. There was no conversation or nothing. It still hurts, obviously, because he's still. We could be in the squad. But if. All right, let me look. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you real quick. Let me go back to this video. Oh, guys. Uh, it's like this. Wait, something silly if we get tired of Pokemon Unite, you know? Silly game. It's like they, they do races and like, you know, like this. And it's free. I believe it's free. And then we can be a squad. We can be a squad of four. So like, we all have to like place, try and place, you know? Like this, simple shit. Oh, what the? Alright, let's go back to that video. He's not gonna love me a hundred percent. Don't love me at all, and that's how I see it. Okay, I don't like. Yeah, let, let me know if it's free. I, I'm had, pretty sure it's free. Kind of a rocky relationship with my. Is my dad. mic too loud? He or is it was just, very good? angry when I came out, oh, and shit. now he's at a place where he has told me, like, I accept that you're gay and i accept that you're gonna be with a, a woman he's like i just had a a vision of what you're yes sir let's play let's play and and you carol jumps on let's, let's get him to uh, play too tells me he accepts me um but it's just gonna take time for him but to yeah i weighed myself um this monday being around my partner uh, i weighed myself this uh like monday i'm 211 pounds so i'm trying to oh boy man i remember i was 180 not too long ago then I blew up like a balloon. Oh, man. <sighs> well, the journey has started. It never ends. Uh, my dad is also like terminally ill, so I rather not carry like anger. Yeah, I'm trying. The I've been changing my diet this past week. This week I've been changing it. Kind of I weigh like around 220. That at least no way. No way. Really? Oh, we thick boy club. <laughs> He's that should be our to, um, that should be our, our, our clan tag uh Love thick boy paper. okay i'm not listening to this video i also haven't i haven't spoken to my father uh this year will mark five years <sighs> and when i came out as trans my attraction to women uh my father had a problem with it at that point i guess it confused them and to this day that is an expectation that trans women should are, are thick boy man attracted to men, and that's not the case. I'll, I'll say now, I miss my dad. That's a big I boy. Him. I tried. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's done. I Damn. Feel bad. It's like, I mean, everyone has such a, like, a heart. I was, I was, I'm very blessed. Um, my family's very accepting. They've always, they've always knew. So when I came out, they're like, okay, very lucky. <laughs> but I feel so bad saying that. I'm, not, I'm like, no, we love <laughs> that. We love that. <laughs> no, you have. That's good. That's good. That's good. I'm like, I'm gonna stay quiet. <laughs> Safe nah, embrace it, embrace it, embrace it. Don't have, and hopefully you're gonna 97 point 8 kg. What is Kate? <laughs> you got times it by two? How, how does KG work in pounds? Don't feel bad. I mean, it's a good thing. We're yeah. happy for you. <laughs> no, I know. I'm, I'm like, it's a blessing. Yeah, definitely, definitely. This is a wrap. You all did amazing. You did so good. Give yourself a round of applause. You did great. <laughs> Oh, there's another video that I want to watch. It's the, um, this one. Do all high schoolers think the same? 